Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sauceta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Deanna. We are looking for some westerly winds to boost up this afternoon, and that is going to lead to some big-time heat, especially in the eastern part of the state, where we get that compressional heating as the winds go down the east slopes of the central mountain chain, and we are looking for temperatures to make it to the mid-90s in Roswell and Carlsbad, near 90 degrees for Hobbs and Clovis, 92 in Tucumcari, even the metro, up to 87 degrees today, which is only one degree shy of the record high for today. But the good news is the heat will be short-lived because we do have the first of two cold fronts coming through for tomorrow, and that is going to cool off the eastern portion of the state for tomorrow and then a second stronger backdoor cold front comes in late Friday and into Saturday. That is going to cool down much more of the state, bring us to more fall like temperatures, but we do have to keep a close eye on the winds for Saturday morning's balloon launch. A pedestrian is dead after police say two vehicles ran over him. Happened just after 6.30 this morning. Police say the 60-year-old pedestrian was walking outside of the crosswalk when he was hit on the inside lane on Eubank. He made it to the middle lane but was hit again by another vehicle. The victim died there. His name is not being released. Police have questioned both drivers involved in the accident. They have not said if the crash is considered a hit and run. No one's been charged. But one of the drivers was booked on an outstanding misdemeanor not associated with this accident. Police say alcohol does not seem to be a factor. Cowgirls Barbecue in Santa Fe will not be allowed to serve alcohol for four days later this month because two customers were involved in a fatal DWI crash. In December of 2010, Kyleen Holmes and her passenger were drinking at Cowgirls. They drove the wrong way on I-25 and ran into an ambulance. Holmes died. Her passenger was injured, as was the 19-year-old ambulance driver. The penalty was handed down by the New Mexico Department of Public Safety and includes a $10,000 fine as well. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.